excuse me, 152. Right bracket up, foul right in on a single leg. He's kind of pop out the back side up with it and just pulls into his opponent and gets a takedown. That was just more of a football tackle and he lets uh, Pearson Sheridan up. He two to one for foul. Sheridan wrestler in the blue singlet with the red and white trim. Foul in the gold beat digger singlet with the BHS across the back and the shield. Foul gets caught in the front headlock. He's on his feet as they work to the right edge of the mat. Short one minute period winding down to 19 seconds. And we get a stalemate call. They'll go back to the center. Foul up by one. A little hand fighting. Another tie up ear to ear. Foul with a shot. Low on the ankle. Trying to bring it back under. We're getting stretched out there a little bit. And we're going to run out of time in the period. It'll be two to one for foul. And we've got Johnny Kruger on mat number five for Sedgwick County against Bryce Leafheit of Yuma. Kruger, a 20 and 10 senior for Sedgwick County Fleming. Leafheit, a 26 and 8 senior for Yuma. And the Yuma wrestler tries a headlock, and they're going to roll out of bounds. No points scored here in the first period. Foul trying to work a pick and step on Pearson Sheridan, but Sheridan wrestler trying to switch around, and he'll get the switch, take the lead by one, three to two. Foul on the bottom. Still no score between Kruger of Sedgwick County and Leaf Height of Yuma. Both wrestlers still on their feet here in the first, second period. Foul gets caught in a grapevine. Power half Nelson try for a moment. I think that's a double grapevine as high as his ankles are in the air. And we'll get a stalemate call. So Lee Height from Yuma keeps trying to load up a throw out there. Kruger able to back away from it. Kruger in on a double leg now. Switches to a short fireman and falls underneath. No point scored. There's a headlock by Leaf Height. Kruger trying to sag out of it. Referee still no. No points awarded. Kruger rolls Leaf Height through. Leaf Height stands up, throws Kruger right at the edge of the mat, <laughs> and they're going to be out of bounds. No score. Same foul trying to work off the bottom. He's hooked the leg. So he moved to the near side, and Pierce draped over the top. I think he's got a cradle locked up on foul. Foul gets an arm out. And tries to sag out of this. He gets an arm out and he throws Pierce to his back. Pierce still has a cradle. And who's got who? Foul about to go over. He breaks the cradle free and no points awarded there. And foul laid there for a moment. Then he lets Pierce throw that double grapevine right back in. It got so close to getting out and then he didn't show any movement there. That's easy to say from up here. Getting a short time here in the second period. And fouls. Going to have his choice in the third period. Coach Luznov up. Giving him instructions. We run out of time in the second period. Leaf height of Yuma and Kruger of Sedgwick County. Still no score. And it's Kruger's choice. He chooses bottom. Ewerts and Wiggins will be up on mat four in about three minutes. Foul trying to work off the bottom. But that Pierce a little high. But, uh, can't seem to buck him off there. So Pierce gets that double grapevine in. You can't get much traction when your ankles are about a foot off the ground. Pierce from Sheridan. Resets that grapevine. And Crank and a half Nelson on foul, and that looks like it's working for back points. The referee waving off the back points. Foul trying to bridge out of this mess he's in right now. And there's the pin, and Russell will lose another wrestler as uh, 
John Pierce will move out for Sheridan with the victory by a fall. Now wrestling, Matt, too, about uh, well, come